previously. The jokes went too far. Somebody ate my chocolate last night. Hey, you're so naughty. <gasps> <gasps> it's never your fault, is it, stupid little boy? <laughs> Tonight, housemates nominate. Immature, so patronising. She needs to grow up. Snidey. A troublemaker. Very, very two-faced. The housemates nominated for eviction this week are... Shocker. Don't you dare turn on me. Horrible, two-faced bastards. Guess right. again, little boy. You're making yourself a victim. You're so angry. I just feel horrible. Dear 14929 AM. It's been a tense week, and today housemates will nominate for the second time. But who will nominate whom? I thought she was one of my really good friends. They're all just gonna gang up and nominate me. People are wrecking people to pieces in here. Dina's fake and she's put on a complete act. This place makes you feel like you're going mad, man. I can't do it with Luke anymore. There's nothing me and him that have in common at all. She better have said she likes me or I'm going to look stupid. Benedict. He's such an angry person. Why should I be ashamed of masturbating? I'm so shocked. I'm literally shocked. I think I've just changed my nomination. <laughs> These housemates think, oh, it's going to be all right. I'm going to be eating chocolate and everything. I'm going to be nicking stuff off them. They don't even know what they've let themselves in for. Benedict's waking up with a workout. Yesterday, as part of a task, he lost his right to nominate. This is Big Brother. This week's nominations will take place shortly. Dina's rummaging in the toilet supplies cupboard. The boys are talking about nominations. Guys, I'm still fucked with my nominations. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing for. Nominations, I'm still fucked. Nomination day is going to be like this all, every time. It's going to be the most, like, horrific experience. Becky and Dina. Ah. <laughs> you know, I just don't talk about it because I'm so shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's <a> classic. <laughs> yeah, see you in a minute. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that to you. It's all right. I need a piss so bad. Never needed a piss so bad. <laughs> I never needed a piss. 11.01 a.m. Lydia and Benedict are tired of Aaron keeping them awake at night. I literally can't even look at that little twerp today. <laughs> Someone said to me, oh, oh yeah, but you can't say anything. He tried to apologise last night and you said save it. I said, no, he didn't try and apologise. He went like this, good night, girls. So I went, save it. Like, he's trying to, like he was trying to be a, a dick once more before we went to sleep. I just don't like it when I end up having bloody problems with other people based on his actions. I can't believe anyone was sticking up for him. Oh, yeah. Who? Well, who's the one that stays out of everything? This is Big Brother. Who's up? Come to the diary I'm not a hater. I'm a nominator. You know what? I'm not a hater. I'm a nominator. It's true, though. Much love. Talk to me. Got to give it to him for, for rhyming. For, for, absolutely. I mean, that's the most intelligent thing. It's really, it's yeah, probably spent a while actually, thinking yeah. about that. Is it supposed to be funny or are we just too old? I find it hilarious. Learn about you. <laughs> Aaron, could you give the name of your first nomination and explain your reasons for this nomination? My first nomination is Dina because she's quite depressing to be around. She's just like a ghost. She walks around this place 
with a face on all the time. It's depressing to see, it's depressing to be around, it's depressing when you walk into a room and the vibe is <clears throat> boring. She never smiles or laughs. Uh, and it's, to, to be honest, I just, it, it, that is a person I would not choose to be around, not choose to live with, and is very, very unentertaining. My second nomination is Lydia. The reason is because I think she's false, um, and she's too bitchy, she's always very, very two-faced, um, and I just, I just don't like, I don't, I wouldn't like to live with a person like that. I just don't. I just don't really like her, to be fair, so... My first nomination is Benedict, because he was unbelievably confrontational with me yesterday, and I've never felt so uncomfortable. It was so condescending, it was so patronising. I felt violated, I felt victimised. It was really, really unpleasant, like, really horrible, and I didn't think it was necessary. My second nomination is Lauren and I've given her so many chances. I don't think she's fully aware at how ungrateful, irritating, unnecessary it is to sit at the supper table and complain bitterly about the lack of ketchup, how she used the bacon for everyone else's meal the night before, how she just wants mayonnaise, how she doesn't like it, and it would just be better if she just swallowed her tongue and went to sleep, if I'm brutally honest. Coming up, nominations continue. She needs to grow up. She just tries too hard. I'm not listening to women for you, check. And Aaron and Lydia kick off. You make say a word, and you're saying, "Hope you enjoyed that, Dina no. and Lydia." Don't you dare you're say my yourself, name. You're Don't you dare say my name, Aaron. You're making yourself no. a victim. <laughs> Eleven eighteen a.m. Last night, Benedict learnt Aaron thinks he's boring. Like for me, the whole I mean, if you're Christian, for example, right. like, the I'm going inside, guys. But I just want to say, I appreciate your opinions, bro. No problem. I appreciate you're you intelligent, sharing intelligent, your intelligent, your intelligent dude. Night. Seriously, I am Benedict. Dumb. Um, he's too intelligent. I can't speak to him. Oh, and, what's he saying? And he annoys me. What's he said now? Just his opinion on things sometimes ah, is yeah. annoying. Benedict, um, were you talking about Aaron, to Aaron about religion or something? Yeah. Yeah, he came in the bedroom and told everyone. Told everyone what? That you were going on about religion and how boring it was. Oh, and he shook your hand and said you respected you. No way. Yeah. See, boys are just as bitchy as the girls. Are yeah. 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 So, Aaron, yes, on, a, on a scale of <laughs> one to ten, <laughs> how yes. boring do you find me? Greece. On a scale of one to ten? Yeah. <laughs> Greece. Boring? Yeah. Greece or Jews? I'd say ten, definitely. Very boring. <laughs> Completely boring. Oh, no, okay. Greece, Jews. You're not boring, boys. dude. I'd say that's, that's what you told the bedroom after we had our discussion Jersey yesterday. Boys. You're boring. Yeah. No, I meant the conversation we were having was boring. Yeah, no, you were into it. You were chipping in, and you were chipping in well. You seemed to find it interesting. In a hole, Benedict. You're not a boring character. Um, there's plenty of shit staring <laughs> in here. But I'll just take that one word. Right. Horrible, two-faced bastards. Whoever said that to you? Because I told that one word. Oh, I, just, I just told you came in and, told, and, and said that I was being really boring. Conversation was boring. Conversation. I didn't mean any harm by it, Benedict. Honestly. No, no, there's no harm, just, no harm just, taken. Just a I just word. Wanna, I, just want, I just want to be aware of it so that, I, so that when you're around, I'll try my hardest not to bore you. No, Benedict, you don't need to change at all in any way because of my one little comment that don't really mean anything. Uh, on so, so okay. like that, I wouldn't mean anything by it because j uh, as a person and how intelligent you are, your conversations that you have with other people, you're a fucking cool guy. I wouldn't you take it hand by me using that word. Well, I just want to clear that up. Do you know what I mean? Because I want to be honest with you and I wanted to find out what the, what the situation was. I hope you enjoyed that, um, Dina and Lydia. <laughs> How did I enjoy it? That had nothing to do with me. You're just assuming. No, we used to with the spectators. I'm not assuming you What am I supposed to do? Move. You want me to leave? I'm eating my breakfast. What do you want me to do? Leave me, Aaron. It wasn't that interesting. You were spectators. That's why I said, hold your enjoyment. I'm eating. It wasn't that interesting, Aaron. breakfast. 
Oh, and Aaron, can I tell you buddy? something? Why I was actually the person, no, 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 ask anyone in this house, I was the person saying, give Aaron a chance, like we should let him have a chance, blah, blah, blah. So don't you dare turn on me. Don't you dare. You. Wasn't blaming it on you. After what I've said about you, don't you dare you. turn on me, Aaron. Wasn't blaming it on you. I said, I hope don't you make little comments. Don't sit there calling everyone. Well. Because you respect what him. What do you want to do? You want to walk away? It's all kicking off in there. You think well, so? Mm. Over here. I'm eating my breakfast. This is a table in the in the living room. Enjoy your breakfast, then. Yeah, we will. Not okay, Aaron, I've totally you. changed my opinion of you now. Thanks very much. I gave oh, you a mama. chance, yeah? And I tried mama. to say that to wow. other people, and that's the way you want to treat the people that try and give you a chance. What? And treat then you wonder why. Treat the people in what way? You've just Aaron. sat there and called everyone I said, whoever said that. So what are you doing? What are you doing if you're not shit stirring in there? What are you doing if you're not shit stirring? Why is it anyone? I was out in the open. Okay, I'm done. Yeah, he's done. He said what he had to say, and now he's done. Me, not her. Jesus. This house needs more laughter. Yeah, but going go yeah, around causing trouble cause with laughter. people. That's 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 so offensive. Listen, it, I just said, it you you, said I've it? got nothing to do with it. So it wasn't nothing you then. To do with it. But then you're saying it about Lydia. you're you're saying that so that we all no, hear it. Don't take it on your shoulders. Don't take it on your shoulders because that's just, you personally You've just brought me into it. I'm sitting here eating my breakfast. I didn't say a word. I didn't say a word. And you're saying, hope you enjoyed that, Dina and Lydia. Don't you dare say my name. You make yourself a victim. You're making yourself a victim. How would I ever be a victim of you, Aaron? A victim of you? Are you joking? So what are you I've been to around say? the world many more times and I've seen more than you've seen. So don't ever say I'll be a victim of you. Oh You're 23 years old. Look at that. A victim of you. Are you, you and joking? And that's your response. And that's your response. That is absolutely my response. <laughs> Perfect. Guess right. again, little boy. All right. Where little boy. What, so what, who it, comes out with that comment? I'm not. I'm on the table. I'm going to eat my breakfast. I just want to address what I like. It takes more than that to rattle my cage. Twelve thirty seven PM. Something's rattled Lydia's cage. Aaron's trying to make amends. You know what, it doesn't help as well when I don't understand the situation. When no, I, and yeah. and I, I automatically think, thought that them two were the, were the two that had come up to you. Right, no, no, no. And that's why they were spectating, well, to see the result, yeah, yeah. which I was clearly wrong. And I've not thought about that. Yeah, which, is why I, which is why, at the end, I just went, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I so... No, I know why you said it. Yeah. I know why you said that. I just wish you hadn't said it. Yeah, well, it's too late now. Scott's the next housemate to nominate. My first nomination is Benedict because he is too opinionated and he's just generally uncomfortable to be around when he's so um, serious all the time. My second nomination is Lauren um, because I feel she's quite um, negative a lot of the time and I just find it difficult to have a, a conversation with her and also I don't feel like I have an easy, fun rapport with her. My first nomination is Aaron. He lies a lot, he is insensitive, he is immature and childish and selfish and annoying. I hope Aaron gets evicted. <laughs> He's doing my head in. <laughs> and my second nomination is Lauren. I wasn't gonna nominate Lauren before, but I keep seeing things that makes me doubt her. She'll, one time she'll dislike someone and then five minutes later she'll be best friends with them. So it just makes me think that I have to be careful around her about what I say and what I do because I, I don't know if she's gonna be trustworthy. I don't really wanna be around someone that I don't feel I can trust. She burns toast and she can't open the pineapple. <laughs> but my husband got muscles. <laughs> yeah. he's fine. And he's yeah. got good hair. <laughs> That's how I pick my husband's too, by good hair. Yeah. <laughs> and wifey's. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. They be, hi, hi, hi. They be grinding. Mmm, <laughs> pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? This is awesome! Oh, the way you just stabbed yo, yo, it. Yo, yo, yo! 
Oh, 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 finger. Oh, it's pineapple, ah. please. I've never tasted a pineapple before. What's wrong with you? You've never tasted a pineapple before? What? We've never tried pineapple before. Way more refreshing Are you fucking pineapples. joking me right now? Real pineapple is like the ultimate fruit. It's really nice. Try it. And it, it also is. makes your semen taste sweeter. Yes. Just in case. Are you going to be swallowing your own semen soon or something? Why were you so excited to take that? Hello. Hello, Lauren. My first nominations for Sarah. I think I don't think she gets me very much, and I think it's hard for us to get on then. I don't think she even understands why she doesn't like me. I've tried my hardest to try and change her opinion of me and show her that I'm just being me, but I don't think she's accepting it. So, what more can you do? My second nomination is, regrettably, Caroline. I think that sometimes Caroline can be quite immature. I just find it a bit unsettling that she can't be serious and have a frank conversation. She needs to grow up to kind of get on with life. My first nomination is Benedict. He is rude and I do think he talks quite a lot of shit. Like, he talks so much that I actually zone out sometimes. I'm just like, oh. My second nomination is Lauren. I don't really click with her. I think she's kind of snidey. I think she really does try to be best mates with everyone. She just tries too hard. My first nomination is Benedict. <laughs> but there's just a, a man, a, a, a porn performer, man in here, who, or, who basically said that the only reason he's on this show is to have a fiddle with his willy so that he can show the nation that it's cool to do that. To be quite frank, I'm not listening to him in future because I am 19 years of age and nobody will ever change my opinion on anybody in the whole wide world. Um, my second nomination is Lauren. I think it just seems as though there's a little bit of immaturity around her. She's always complaining about the food and stuff like that, which it does my head in. So that's, I think that's why I've nominated Lauren today in the situation at hand. One fifty-three pm Can we just go outside in the sun? Let's sun this. I yeah. don't want to go outside. Let's sun this. Well... That's perfect. What's, how's it cold, is it? That's perfect. We're gonna have another chuck. Are you coming outside, Lauren? No, I'm gonna stay in here, babe. Stay in here, love. My first nomination is Luke S. I just don't think we have had any sort of good chats. We didn't seem to gel. I don't like the way he's taking the role of like man of the house and he's quite vain, like kissing his bicep with his lipstick tattoo and he's just too cool for school. My second nomination <clears throat> is Caroline because I've noticed there is a nasty side to her sense of humour. Her and, and I think it's Scott, they seem to have little whispering sessions on the bed and it, I find it really awkward and there's a bit of an atmosphere because it does feel like they're talking about you. And I have seen her sort of upset a few people in the house that I'm close to. I love Luke's face when he's cooking. You go into like therapeutic zone out mode. And I love when you um when you scratch your, your crotch area and then pick up the spoon. Do you really love him? I you love, love him everything about him. You just love him, love I him, love him. I love him and I love him. Oh, you love everyone bastards. you do, don't you, Aaron? Listen, we could we could be your two best friends. Don't don't hate don't hate. Appreciate. I don't hate. I appreciate. It. No, the war started now. <laughs> Last time it was on the heat. This is Big Brother with Luke S and the Oh, is that that? Smooth Luke, please could you give the name of your first nomination? My first nomination is. <clears throat> 
Luke K. He's much quieter, he sleeps a lot. And if Luke wasn't in the house, I wouldn't notice if he was here or not. I just feel like he should involve himself more in the situation and just grab it with both hands and go for it. And, you know, because he's not involving himself, he might just go for a kip. My second nomination is... Dina. Although she's coming out of her shell a little bit more, you still have to try and draw stuff out of her. It's like, you ask her a question, but then you... you have to almost, like, tell her the answer. My first nomination is for Benedict. He basically has offended a few people in here. Um, he told Lauren that the girls were talking about her, and I think that um, he shouldn't have done that, so I don't like people who make themselves middlemen, so I don't like that. My second nomination is for Luke A. He didn't tell us what a kilo is, and we ended up with 2,000 loaves of bread. And he was the only one who had the key to the village. He knew what a kilo was. I don't know what a kilo is. Two forty-seven p.m. Lauren's chatting to Dina, unaware that <sighs> Dina nominated her two hours ago. I just want to cry, Dina. When, when I talk to you, you're a really lovely girl. Like I trust you completely. <clears throat> and then, and I think because you're such, you will just go up to anyone and start talking. People's paranoia starts kicking in, and I start thinking, "Oh, hang on, you're talking about well, so I'm not going to be horrible to someone if I like them. Do you know what I mean? Uh, I've realised that, yeah. That's what. That's what it is. Do you know what I mean? Well, after Friday, I don't think that's going to matter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to cry by myself. No, 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 no. This... I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> oh, I feel that like I need to be sick after eating that chicken. Two <laughs> sacks. All right. Just need to change. The hot tub's on. Yeah. Right. Let's get these on. Lydia, Sarah and Dina are talking about Lauren. When I speak to her, I understand she's not a bad girl. I, I don't think I, she's I, a bad girl. I think she I says think it's it's No, there's people yeah. here that's done worse to me no, than no, her. No, no, yeah, which is fair enough. But, but that's, I, all I'm going to say is I think she would have been up anyway. I don't think your vote is going to make that no, much difference. No, just from my point of view, there's just been too many things. Yeah, 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 like everyone that yeah. I've seen. And yeah. I just don't really kind of trust her in a way. Because I don't know if she just needs to around people just saying things that they want to hear. But I don't know. I, I, like, I could be wrong as well. You just don't know. You just have to go off what you're in. Actually, that could be true. Like, maybe she's through the me again. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what I generally do you think? Yeah. <laughs> Give What's me a that? baby cuddle. <laughs> it's hard. Yeah. Oh, we'll check. What's up, Lars? I just don't understand why no one likes me. People do like you, Lars. I just don't know what I've done. I just wish people would tell me. There's nothing I can do about it. I think that's what it is. Like, I wish I could just change it. I know for a fact I'm going to be up. I wish people would just be honest and tell me what the problem is. I don't know how to put it. I don't want to sound nasty or horrible. But, but if I was to go off in a corner and and mop about and be like, mm, and not, and, and I'd be psychologically making myself think. Actually, yeah. if you keep saying, "Lads, nobody likes you," you're literally gonna make yourself think, yeah. "Lads, so yeah. nobody likes you." And but we, it is hard when nobody talks to me. Yeah, yeah, it would, it would be hard, but but why is I, no one talking to me? <laughs> 3 22 pm connor's the next housemate to nominate
Uh, my first nomination is Dina. She's Dina, the boring housemate who walks about, and then there's a, the personality whenever the, the camera's on, she's always like, oh, I'll do it, I'll do this. And I feel that she is being fake. My second nomination is going to be Lydia. She's, she's very sneaky. But she, she's like forming groups and she's like sneaking off and talking to this person and sneaking off talking to someone else behind their back, you know what I mean? And it's not nice, definitely not, not, it's definitely not a nice atmosphere to be in. I think if I remain friends with Dina, it's going to cause me so many problems in here because she's always at the, uh, in the middle of what the problems are and then I've kind of become her friend so I'm getting yeah, dragged I'm into all these things. Bit, yeah. But I feel like it's like such a betrayal. But then at the same time, I think I'm do I think I'm going to screw myself over if I stay in here, mm. being close to her because she's mis miserable and negative a lot, and it'll just it'll, I'll just become like that. It's Sarah's turn to nominate. My first nomination is Lauren because one minute she's really really nice, and then the next minute she changes and. I don't really understand it. If she's got a problem with something, she should, she should address it maybe, instead of being fine with it, but then going to somebody else and not being fine with it. Okay, my second nomination is Benedict because sometimes he speaks about things that aren't really appropriate. He maybe needs to realise it can be a little bit awkward to have conversations about pleasuring himself and things like that. My first nomination is Aaron. He's just being a troublemaker and he said some really nasty things to me today. I don't know why he's come in here just to upset people and I don't think that is a worthy winner, somebody who just wants to constantly make people feel rubbish and not enjoy their experience here. My second nomination is for Dina. I just find her very negative and I feel like I'm being taken along in the negativity and it's clouding my experience here, and I don't want to be tarnished with the same brush. Finally, it's Adam's turn to nominate. My first nomination is Becky, because she's being fake and controlling in the kitchen, and is trying to suck ass in the weirdest way, too. My second nomination is Ashley. The base she doesn't do anything. She just doesn't do anything. Like... She doesn't clean, she doesn't cook, nothing, nothing for the house. She just laughs and drinks and... Benedict lost his right to nominate, but it wouldn't have mattered anyway, as with six votes each, both Lauren and Benedict will face this week's public vote. Scott, Adam, <laughs> Siobhan and Connor received no nominations. Coming up, the results are in. The housemates nominated for eviction this week are... And so are the tears. But I feel awful. Like, I've never felt like this in my life. Six or two p.m. Caroline's feeling naughty. Ash, mm. do you want to play with me? Playtime. Five minutes soon. Five minutes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's fucking great. <laughs> Catherine, Sarah, have you seen what she's done to my leg? What she done? Look, it was bad. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm not here to make enemies. I really am only here just to have a laugh and I suppose in the process of me having a laugh, I am going to make enemies. I hope not, mate. Seriously, because you are like a nice lad and I don't want to see you fucking leave before your time, do you know what I mean? Yeah. No doubt I'll do something else stupid that'll piss people off. But like, it's like even if you live with your best, best, best mates, you still fall out all the time. I fucking hate my best mates. Yeah. It's wankers. I love them to bits, but I won't choose to live with them. Mm. In that sort of sense, it's like we're almost like family because you can't choose your family, but you have to fucking live with them, do you know what I mean? <laughs> That's the damn truth. And I'm, I'm going to go through life not knowing too much about myself, I reckon. Why is that? Because I have split personalities. I, I am a nice guy, though. I like to, I like to um, believe that. Mm. Just sometimes I love people up the wrong way. Yeah. The wrong people up the wrong way as well, mate. Yeah. Some 
dangerous characters in there. What the fuck are they doing? Oh, someone's getting them a cream. Sarah's got, like, moose or something all over her head. Fuck it out. I will eventually change my ways in this place and just be that that, that character that, that just sort of plodded along for the past like three days or whatever it was. I try to think more tactically when I'm doing when I'm playing my pranks or being a little fucker. <laughs> so I'm not so I'm doing it as is a Is that job. you being yourself though? Is that what you genuinely like? No, I'm just doing it for entertainment factor for myself to keep myself That's occupied. a dangerous game, man. It is. I'm gonna sleep like a fucking log tonight. Anyway, I don't think there'll be any pranks from me. <laughs> Eight thirty p.m. Big Brother has gathered the housemates for the results of this week's nominations. <laughs> oh, I can't cope with nerves when I've just stuffed my face. No, no, bad news. <laughs> this is Big Brother. The housemates nominated for eviction this week are. Oh God, I hate this. Oh God. In no particular order. Benedict and Lauren. Well, I know it. <laughs> Come here. Fuck. <laughs> I'll be surprised. Yeah. Every fucking week is just a shock horror. Oh, oh I hate you. You're going to crazy. Sick of it, son. Yeah. Quiet. I knew. Don't worry, girl. I don't know what to do, son. It's going to be fine. Yeah. It's not a problem. Yeah. I'm going to let me in for the lunch. I feel so angry. It's OK, I knew. I've been telling you guys all day, I knew. Do you know what I mean? Fucking hell. <sighs> How can someone like Aaron still be there when there's good people like you two? I'm feeling the same. It's fucking... It's cool, I do. I knew all day, didn't I? Don't. Yeah, oh yeah, my God, I want to cry, but... Anyway. It's not fair, though, because the thing is... The same people are going to go up every week because it's the group that group that decides, and whoever they decide Fucking is going to go up every week. <sighs> so. Come here, you. Oh, Uncle Ben. Fucking angry, man. Angry. Fucking, why do they deserve to be up? Why? I know. It's all right. I know. Fuck. Last week it was in shock, and this week it's in shock. Mm. Yeah. So does that. Babe, I'm not exactly who's it's... nominating me. Uh, I'd already got upset today because a lot of people have come and said you're getting nominated, you're getting nominated, you're getting nominated, so... Told you that they were nominating you. Oh, Dana told me that everyone had already decided it was me. What do you mean? Like, they came like up the with Sissy. I told Dana and Dana told me. Nine forty-four pm Lauren's confiding in Big Brother. The little click group have taken a disliking to me. And first they took a disliking to Victoria, she went. Second they took a disliking to Chris, he went. Third they took a disliking to me and Benedict, now we're up. So it's just pretty obvious really. Caroline and Sarah and Ashley and Aaron and Luke and Connor. They've got their little group and Every week they have someone they don't like and that person's up. I've been me the whole way through and it's hard when you're being yourself and people don't like you. It's been one hour and 14 minutes since Big Brother revealed the results of this week's nominations and Sarah's upset. You're right, babe. I just genuinely feel horrible. 100% nominated because the time I felt things mm. were a bit strange and stuff, and, but I feel awful. Like, I've never felt like this in my life. Yeah. 
I think being here does make you a stronger person because you must have to like grow thicker skin or something. It must get easier with nominating, right? Wasn't it? Connor has learnt something he's not happy with. I went to the smoker and says, "Are you okay?" Blah blah blah. Because I know how it feels. It's not a nice feeling. Yeah. And I went, he's, he's okay. He goes, out there. I knew I was going to be up. And I said, how did you know you were going to be up? And she goes, oh, Dina told me all the girls that nominated me anyway. So I knew I was going to be up. She's a sneaky bastard. Oh, I'm never telling her anything. She sits in that bed and listens to everything that you say. Oh, my God. I don't give a fuck whose name's called out, as long as it's not the people that I'm close to. I see anybody else, I don't give a shit. But it's the fact that the people that I fucking <laughs> nominated aren't fucking up. <laughs> Who was your second? Lydia. Oh, I like Lydia. Nah. She, because he's exact same. And I remember Aaron came on last night and says, oh, I find Benedict boring. Yeah. Lydia and Dina told Benedict what Aaron says. They'll say it unnecessary. Two? Exactly. Why did you do that? Oh, fucking my God. Bastard. You fucking swear You know it, you. Yeah, you know it. Yeah, I'm not. I like you. Because I, I can Becky. see fake people. Becky. I do not trust her. Yeah. I will not divulge anything. Yeah. Because I know what she is. Becky. Lydia, I don't trust her at all. No. no, I'll tell you right now, from me to you, right? From me, be it personally, right? I'm not, I'm not being two-faced. No. I'm not being sneaky. Oh, no. Because I'll tell you no. because I'll tell you because I like you. And the only reason I nominated them two is because I don't like them. Yeah. Simple as that. And she was sitting there and she said, my crew is going to nominate such and such a person. And I was all, Shit, your crew? I speak to her because sometimes I like her. But I will, yeah. not, I will not feed information to her because I, no, I because don't, I don't know what it. she's going to do with it. Let me take oh, it. Adam is really good friends with her, right? She's straight away, boom, stop talking to her because, Why do because, it, because she's coming up to nominations. She's going to spread about and be like everybody's best friend that Chris was doing. Lydia's consoling Benedict. Thing is, I didn't vote for either of you. Obviously. Well, but I didn't vote for her either. Yeah, yeah. Well, look, I know who it was. It's Sarah, probably Ashley, Caroline, Scott. Mm. There's four votes. You're my closest friend, but I get on with her too. Like, mm. so if she goes as, like, as well, we're totally outnumbered. Yeah, yeah. Oh, totally. And you'll be picked off one yeah, by one, oh, quite possibly. 100%. My fiancé will be supporting you, though, now, because he knows you're my friend. He'll be like, vote Benedict. Coming up! Even I've got no talent or skills or much going on in, in my head, I can do something with it for a few minutes or get some money out of a newspaper for being in a relationship with someone who's nothing like me whatsoever and wouldn't go out with me if it was out in public. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Ten twelve p.m. Benedict's coming to terms with being up for eviction. How are you feeling about tonight's news? Uh, yeah, I feel all right. I mean, obviously, it's it's not it's not what you want to hear, but I kind of expected it uh, this week. Uh, and obviously, I had my vote taken away from me, so the power I had to influence the vote away from me uh, wasn't there. I'm very close, or, or I really, really like the people that I like in here. Um, but over the last few days, I've begun to get quite irritated by the absolute selfishness and self-centeredness of about four or five people in this house. It's a bit like being in school, uh, but the parents never come to pick the kids up. You know, Lydia said to me, oh, these people have come in here for some fun. They don't want to be, they don't want to talk about serious issues. They don't want to hear your opinion about certain things. Well, so I haven't come into a holiday camp. If I want to go to a holiday camp, I'd, I'd get a fully inclusive, you know, 14 days in, in Cuba. I haven't, that's not what this is. They, they should know if they had half a, you know, brain cell between their ears. But, oh, no, they'd probably say, oh, I've got a big brother, I can get famous, I'll be really good, yeah, maybe something come out, I'll get a modelling contract, or I'll become a singer, or I'll be an actor or something, you know. Even though I've got no talent or skills or much going on in, in my head, I can do something with it for a few minutes, or get some money out of a newspaper for being in a relationship with someone who's nothing like me whatsoever and wouldn't go out with me if it was out in public. Oh, yeah. Point made. Ashley and Lucas are on the sofas. You wrote Benedict online. Mm -hmm. You wrote Benedict online. Yeah. And they're both up. Do you feel bad? No. Lydia's very, very sneaky. What? Lydia. Yeah. It's very sneaky. Very sneaky. 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 
like trying to, trying to manipulate situations to try and like orchestrate kind of to see who's up and then to try and just avoid herself being off. Mm. What do you actually see this show as? Like, do you see it as a game or do you see it as like... I didn't. I do now. No, I see it as a game. But Lauren, listen, if I was playing a game with you, I wouldn't have told you on the Yeah, game. I know. I, At least you've both been honest. Nobody else has been honest with me, do you know what I mean? I'm always as honest as I yeah. possibly can be, yeah. as long as the circumstances allow it. Yeah. If that makes sense. I'm just going to blow my neck. It's all on your back. Mm. OK. Listen, if she stays, we need to do Becky and someone else. I don't know. Yeah. Do you think she's going to stay? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but listen, we need to get Luke, and whoever he does, we need to do the same, because yeah. then that's poor votes. Mm. Adam is, Adam's just on a flipping end of the planet. I know. Well, at some point, he is going to be my nomination. Mm. So next time we do whoever Luke's doing, plus we get Benedict or Warren to do the same. Will Benedict Dick listen to you? Is he, is he, is he really to do this? Yeah, 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 if he stays, yeah. Okay. If he stays, because he'll have to, otherwise he'll be back up again. Mm, because Benji doesn't listen to me. No, 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 no. But we've got to take some control. Because mm. otherwise we're screwed. Yeah. Ugh. <sighs> a.m. Siobhan has come to the diary room to give Big Brother her take on the evening's events. I wanted to express my utter horror that Lauren is up for eviction. I knew probably Benedict would be up, but I never thought Lauren would be up, and I'm very upset about that. I'd almost say devastated. I love Lauren. Lauren's just like a little... She's like a little dolly to me. Like, she's just... The girl is so sensitive. She's so bloody smart. She's so kind. Lauren is just an all-round lovely girl and i can just see like her soul is just troubled the boy is they're still trying to i don't know do you think they're blatantly saying to each other we're going to do this we're going i don't think this. yet i don't think not yet, yet. Not so yet. next week we might have a chance yeah. to get them before they get us they're not doing yet because they're going to look bad on the camera so next week we can smack it god i just realized no because really because listen it's because i think we're gonna vote becky so that's one so one two three we're four yes yeah. so that's we one. definitely do becky and but the, I thought he was going to do Aaron, but now he's licking their asses. So you know what game Adam's playing? He's not thinking to do this tactical thing. He's now thinking that he'll ass lick them, so then he doesn't get nominated. But he's not thinking about the long run, right? Short term, he'll be fine. But long term, they're going to vote him out. Him well. Yeah. That's but you've got to pick off the one that's the weakest, who might go home. We have to get off one of the boys against Becky. Like I really don't think I'd have fucking commented if I'd have known that this was what it was going to be like. You can but smile. Lauren, enjoy this now. You know what we're doing now? Enjoy it. You can Put your brain to it. It's a bit of fun. Whoever stays at form a fucking pact and fucking stick together, because otherwise you're fucked. I did not sign up for this shit, man. <laughs> Just enjoy it, Lauren. And yes. neither did I. I didn't come in here to think, oh, I'm going to have to constantly watch my dad. But unfortunately... Mm. It depends what you want out of this friendship, this show. If you're in it to win it, then you're going to do whatever it takes. Yeah. You see what I'm me? not in it to win it. I don't expect to win. No way. But we're here now. Let's well make the most out of it and see how long we can survive. This week, Benedict and Lauren face a public vote who steers you decide. To save your favourite housemate from a landline call 0901 616 and add the number of the housemate. From a mobile call 65058 and add the number of the housemate. For Benedict add 04 and for Lauren add 09. You can also vote via Facebook. Simply go to our Facebook page 
One vote via Facebook will cost you no more than 33p and may be subject to a minimum credit purchase. Calls cost no more than 36p from a BT landline or mobile. Calls from other networks may vary. For full terms and conditions, go to channel5.com slash bbvote. Voting closes in Friday's eviction show. Stay tuned for Bit on the Side, where Emma's joined by...